We're back with some more Minecraft. For you, this has been a week of terror, of waiting for my beautiful episode, of this amazing series that you want to see more of. And for me, it has been two hours because I just rec <laughs> I recorded three videos today. I don't know. I'm in a grind. So what I did, I yeah, this is way 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 different than you saw on it. I just wanted to put a roof on this just to keep this safe my my horses I cannot make fences yet but I want to make fences around this so they are safe and they cannot escape I also did everything I turned into grass uh, actually dirt and then I made it so that everything is connected I left my cross here can I make that map smaller because that's huge so I made the map a little bit smaller now okay so it's a little bit smaller it's not too small actually and still, if I do this, I can see everything properly. So now it doesn't take up my entire screen. So this grass is going to grow over here. I thought placing this would help it, but I don't think it will. It only makes it look dirty and stupid, like everything in my life. I don't know why I did this. I'm stupid. I still have my little horse because this has been two hours for me. Um, you cannot. I don't have any horses for the game for the for the I don't have any names for the horses yet Seriously, can I not talk like a normal human being? Apparently I cannot but the first thing we need to do to complete This actually uh, we need to kill some things, but I need more armor and stuff for that So I'm hoping that if I continue this I might get into the armor stuff shits Use the knowledge of the wheel to make a gear. I think I remember how to make gear but still, for making a gear, you need wood. For mood, you need axe. And axe meets wood means death. Also, because last episode I asked you, I will ask you every episode if um, for a question about my series. Last episode was the horses, which you can still do in this episode too if you want to. Um, these horses I want similar names because I think that's cool, like uh, Bab and Bob, something like that. This episode I want you to, to ask you, should I take these trees and make a forest out of those trees instead of these trees? Because if I have a lot of these and I place them like three apart, that means that they will be far apart so they so I can run through it. But from the top it's like closed closed off thing. So I ask you, should I make a forest out of these trees? Because it's cool. Yes or no, then I will destroy all the trees around this and I will fill it up with those trees. So, that's the question of this episode. So, now I will chop some trees and you will not see that because that's boring. So, I'll see you when I get some wood. Bam. I will place a tree near near his hand, near, near. Yeah, he was making the grinder too. Okay. He might join once. But he is also playing other games because Minecraft is not the only game in the world. Yes, it is. It's the only game in the world I know. Because it's actually the only game in the world that ever got my channel views. Actually, at this point, my video might already have hit 1000 views. Oh, this is going fast. I have one video of Sky Factory that has, at the moment of recording, 800 views. 800! That's like, not even normal! No, literally, I, I cannot even imagine how much that is. 1,000, eventually, then 1,000 people saw my crappy thumbnail and thought, I want to watch that video. Because these thumbnails of this, I really, like, prepared for it. I go on a separate map, and then I spawn some things in, so it's cool. Like the one from the forest, that was not the forest I found. It was just a giant, beautiful forest I found from, in, in my other map. But... <clears throat> yeah so but the end uh, once for sky factory I just took one template and I just did that a couple of times and changed some things around it was real crap okay I think it's just like this and then just this around if I'm correct this is how I do wait nope I missed something gear gear Something it oh yeah buffalo tooth that was it oh no I'm not prepared for this episode at all because for a buffalo tooth oh why did I do that 
For a buffalo tooth, I need to have all these things. A rattle, flute, and a drum. I have the rattle and the drum right over here. The rattle and the drum. I'll place that. It's I, I think it is going to be a ritual. It says it, that it's going to be a ritual, so might just not empty this area a little bit. Okay, and then I place down my drum. Okay, and I have my rattle. And then I need to have scissors of some sort. Scissors. Um, shears? Shears, I can make shears. Flint shears. Okay, that's not that hard. One, two, one, two. And then I can take this one and I put it over here. Nice, now I got some myself some shears. Now I need to have grass. One grass. Grass. Okay. Is, is it so easy? Oh, and then this one, and then... I got myself a flute. And then... Snake, rattle, and roll. Okay. I got myself a totempedia. Okay. Um, it's getting dark. Um, I don't want that. So, if I don't want that, I tell you not to do that, and that means go ahead and sleep. Does it work? <laughs> yeah, okay. Didn't think it would already work. Okay, let's see. To go here, to my drum. Totempedia, totem basic, totem and effect. Okay, totem basics. Melody. Melody is a magical power released from instruments that have been played. Each instrument has a melody threshold, meaning that only a certain amount of melody can be released from one instrument for a specific specific effect. Maybe in this future, and maybe in the future, this melody well functions with other things in the world. Wait, can I? Can I return? Oh, here. Okay. The red cedar tree. The red cedar tree. Cedar, cedar tree is a tree that naturally has capa capabilities for totem, totemic, totemic purposes. So stupid words. I can be, it can be obtained by infusing mundane saplings with musical energy in the rite of spring ceremony. Okay. Oh, okay. Red cedar wood has the same properties and crafting applications as standard wood. In addition, a bark stripper is able to remove its bark to make more efficient use of its resources. Finally, it can be used for certain instruments like wild chimes or jingle dress. Okay, buffaloes. The mighty buffalo, an animal which is known across the lands for all the resources grants. They are incredibly sturdy and have a very large amount of health. Hunting has left them extinct, but they can be created with the buffalo dance ceremony. Oh, okay. Okay, that's this, okay. Uh, ceremonies the buffalo dance ceremony the buffalo dance the beast uses to roam this this beast used to roam the lands in a large herd but was mysteriously wiped out long before you came into this world however not all hope is lost the buffalo dance ceremony is able to re give strength to nearby cows and turn them into buffaloes although a weaker kind than those than those that were once ni native Okay, I need this and wind sheen. Boom, boom. Avoid using red rags. Okay, red cedar wood, string, sticks, and two. I cannot do this yet because I need to get stage two first. So I think what we need to do is get to the darklands. Because. No, oh, I need to, um, uh, yes, we need to get to the dark lands, well, yeah, it's still attached, okay, this animal has low health, and I don't want this to be his final journey, <laughs> oh, now it works, okay, so, this will not be my horse of choice ever again, so, do you have a lot of health? Yeah, you have a lot of health. Okay, let's go. 
I do not have armor for you yet. So my card glitched out. So the stuff that was in there is gone now. Whoa. Okay, so that's fun. Yay. So I need to go ahead and go to the Darklands. I now have my map. So now I can map out things that I want to store. Like those ruins I found the last time I went there. Now because I have a map. I will not get lost because I can just do poopy peppery and I know where to go home. I will keep this one out for enemies. This horse is actually very fast and it's not even sprinting. Okay, maybe it is. No, see, now it's not sprinting. And then when I press it, the only thing about a horse is the fact that it's bigger. Okay, I'm here. Now we'll just put a waypoint right into the middle of this. And I go in like so, boom. And I make add a marker right over here. A portal. Yeah. A portal. It's a portal, right? It's kind of a portal. There it is. The bluish goo that I was expecting is what I see over there. No. Oh, this is actually going very deep, very fast. <laughs> There's another one of those. Like, right across. But I will know that whenever I find that one again. <laughs> and I will put a waypoint at this too. So I will not have to use the, the map all the time. Could you stop being annoying? Horsey man. I don't know your name yet. Because the viewers will decide your name. Now, I just need to look for... Oh, there's more over there. I need to look for an enemy in this area. A special enemy in, in the dark woods. There should be like special monsters and stuff in these woods. Which I can kill. For shards. And the stronger the monster, the bigger the shards. But I do not see any monsters. And I think this is a different... No, this is still this. Okay, this is still dark woods. Oh, the dark woods are pretty big. Oh, there's still dark woods over there too. Okay. So they made it huge. Okay, but I need to find an enemy. And because I am supposed to do that next, that means that those enemies would be able to spawn, wouldn't they? So they are pretty obvious to see if I see them. But I also found out that to find them, I could better look underground because of course mobs spawn at the lowest Y levels first. What is this? This is a weird tree. And that I already knew, but what is this over here? I have lag again. Okay. What I will do is restart the server. Just because of the fact that... Oh. I cannot hear anything anymore. Uh, just because of the fact that... First of all. Those mobs don't spawn. And second of all. Because there's lag again. So. See you soon. Hey, we're back. Um, I uh, think this is still in episode 5 of our super amazing awesome series. And as you can see, the server is back online. We have a new server host. Yes, for me it only took like 2 days to find a new better server host. But when I came online, I thought maybe I will look for if I see some creatures that should spawn here. I found one. And I killed it. And I got 3 full shadow dams. It was a, literally the weirdest thing I've ever done. It was like... Um, it, it was breathing wither and slowness and stuff. It was next to the water, so I could kind of go under him and then hit him. 
And apparently that was a very strong mob because otherwise you will get small shards. I just want to know if I can find any more so I can show you what I mean. <laughs> Maybe I can find a different mob because this one was pretty crazy. It did not even look like a mob at, in first. It looked like a plant and then when I came closer it started burning. Let's see, can I find another one? But I got the gems now, so we got this, we got this gem, and with the gem we can make this. So, we can proceed to the next stage, I hope. Um, I will not do that in this episode, of course. No, maybe not, of course, to you, but it's it makes sense to me, because it took a long time to make this happen. You see, there's more wolves over here. See, and the lag is gone, they immediately attack me now. Oh, shit! Oh shit, I forgot there was lava here. Oh, there's five wolves. You know what? I have a horse. I can run away. Why won't I? Um, Go, 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 go. Just far away so I can look at my map. Okay, not this way. Uh, up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's this? Another one of those cabins. What's over here? Hey, Mr. Man. You're a butcher. Okay, you sell shit. Oh, that's a chest. Thank you for everything that you had in there. See, that's that's not the creature I was talking about. But I think this is one of the kind creatures. Mr. Wilson. Oh. You make zombie pigment noises and you're strong. I just need to... You did not give me anything. No shards. Only XP. Horsey! Horsey, where are you? Horsey? Seriously? This is not the glitch, right? He just walked away like my horse always does. Let me relog. Nope, like I thought it was not. Where's my tomahawk? Wait, did I throw my tomahawk on the ground? Somewhere? That was my tomahawk, not a spear. He did not give me anything as well. Where's my horse? Because apparently it did run away. See, there's another weird kind of monster over there. Seriously, horsey. Seriously. It's not fun and it's real annoying. I don't even know which way you are. I kind of need you to get back home. Leah could have walked all the way, like, I don't know, to the middle of nowhere at this point. Oh, that's a shadow creature. That, that's, that drops the things. But this is like the small one of what I fought. Mine was like player height. Oh shit. And then it dropped shadow fragments, but this smallest shadow fragments I've ever seen where the frick is my horse no this is this is not even the one I fought the, the one I fought was flaming things was flaming everything at me that he had sometimes I don't get knocked back and I don't like that because then I have my entire combo is it's gone. See, but it, dro it dropped one. That's good. It dropped something else too. Bigger fragments. Uh, but I need to go home and that's that way. Okay. And first need to kill like the annoying ones. I don't care about the shadow creatures at this point. I just need to kill the annoying zombies that are with them. Because if I kill the zombies, I can focus on the shadow creatures more. 
This is this is just obnoxiously much. But it's the it's the dark land, so it's always dark here. Oh, they push each other against me. Oh no, it's burning. It's burning. Oh no, he set me on fire. Oh, he is wearing a helmet. No, okay, that damaged hit them a little bit. Luckily, they don't uh, do my uh, give me any effects like the first one I fought did. Okay, that was number one. Number two might be okay. Number two is easier. Okay, everything is dead. Can I finally go home? Okay, I see the fighting thing. That means that's the place where I started. Okay. Wow. I have a potato. Seriously? Die. So, that happened. Okay, I got my death compass. And what I now can do is... <gasps> Wait, what? He's back. It's back. It was just invisible. Okay, cool. Um, why I died, you'll probably know. Um, first of all, because I needed to pee. Second of all, because I ate something so I wouldn't die. And then I died. Because I got um, effects from that food that weren't really good. Weren't really good effects. Okay. Um, oh, I got everything. Oh, in my hot bar slot like I left it. Okay, boom. The things that I do not really care about losing at this point... I drop it in here. Uh, ba -do -ba -do -ba. So now I have this back. And now we can go. Okay, the horse can go into deep water. Okay, that's good. I didn't know. In normal Minecraft, this cannot. In normal Minecraft, that will be died. There's my TP, there's the trees that I planted for snow. And this is our beautiful little humble bow. And I think that the, I think he died. I think the the zombie died that we left over here. But now we're finally at home. We can make the shadow gem draw hopper hopper. We need a shadow down, we need a shark tooth, we have to need charcoal dust. Oh, okay, that's why we needed the charcoal block for. Where is it? Oh, of course. No, I can just put the charcoal in here. Right, charcoal dust we can just make from grinding. We need the millstone. We need the millstone, but the millstone you can only get. Oh, you cannot get from only that. Why did I think I could only get the millstone from that? Okay, so charcoal dust we get from a millstone, and the millstone we get with a gear. No, here. Grindstone, and then grindstone with a slab. Okay. Grindstone is just some regular old stone. And then burn, 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 burn. Okay, it's both. It's six, and it's seven, and it's ten, so it's sixteen. So I need to burn 16 cobblestone. So here we go. We need first three like this with a boom, bada bam, bada 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 boom. Please don't scare me this time. And we need this one in a six like so. And then we need to have the stickies. 
boom and then make it and then put this in like an order like so take the grindstone put it right there and take the stone slab put it right there and slap it and we got a mill okay millstone yeah the pro oh yeah I don't I know what the problem was with the millstone because it's 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 like let's put it right over here if you look at it you need a gear you need a gear right you need a gear and how do you get it like what can you do with gears is this this is what you can do you need to have charcoal with a gear but if you look at the gear you need to make it from buffalo tooth and buffalo tooth you can only get from where is the book where did I leave the book in here totemic if you look at here and ceremonies and then the buffalo dance the buffalo dance ceremony uh, gives strength to a nearby cows and turn them into buffaloes although a weaker kind of those and one native so I need a totemist drum and then a wind sheen. and then if I do this that means I read red cedar wood to make that and that so wait does it really need to be wind sheams? Wait, what? But I have my drum right over there. Can I just bring a cow to that and then it will work? Am I that stupid that I did not know that? You know what? I will leave. <laughs> I have already done so many things. I will leave that for next episode. Next episode, we will do the ceremony which we will kill buffaloes. And we will do some other things which are cool and fun to do. And then I probably know how they work. And I, then I want to say now, if you liked this episode, consider subscribing, liking, doing anything you can. Supporting me in my channel and my journey through YouTube. And then I will see you in the next video. And the last thing I say now is...